hi developers so in this part of angular e-commerce project we will learn that how we can make login form for seller uh, you can see that till now we have only sign up option for the user don't confuse with that login right so this home login and card uh, menus be basically belong to the uh, normal user who just want to buy the project or he just want to just check out the site right so uh, solar seller will just get the access of all, everything inside the seller menu uh, so once he will just click on there so uh, he will get a form for sign up right and if he, he already have account then there will be a link that we will make in that video so once he will click on that link uh, the login form will be there and he can log in with that also right so these are the points first of all we have to make a login form after that uh, uh, we will make a login function inside our component.ts file so that uh, we can get the login values inside that form and we can call the api we will call api in the next uh, part here we will just get the form data and we will create that form and we also have to add some style also and uh, below to the form both form login and sign up there will be a link for toggle the sign up and uh, login form and after that we'll test our complete flow this is like uh, everything is working fine or not so now you can see that we have a html form right so there is a div uh, with the class op sign up so i am just uh, copying that complete div and uh, just pasting there right like this so now we can just change uh, some heading tag like uh, sailor login and we can also change the value of button also text of the button also let's say login but now you will find that there is a two form one for sign up another for for the login so we have to show only one form at a time so what we will do there so let's say we are just jumping on the seller auth uh, dot component so let me just make an option there which is the name of let's say show login right and by default value will be let's say true we can say that so now if this value is true then we can show that our login form so i am just going to add here ng uh, if and uh, if this is true then this space will be visible otherwise that will be false and the login form will be visible only if uh, the value of uh, that uh, show login property is false so we can say that star ng if and if negation we will put here negative value because if this this value is false this negation mark will make it true so now you can see that by default we have a seller login form so what i'm just going to do so let me just i'm just changing that value first for a moment like a by default value is false and now you will find that uh, sign up option is by default there so there i am just going to make a option uh, just below to the sign up uh, button so that we can just toggle the things right so i am just adding a text there let's say anchor inside the anchor tag already have account click for login right you can just make it for a moment you will find that this is not looking uh, much as for ui but uh, we will just change the style also so but let me just make a click button there and uh, let's say we are just uh, making a function open login there right and now let's make this function inside the ts file so login and what i'm going to do there i'm just putting this value true login dot show login is true and uh, the similar value so let me just add some style there you know let me add a class and uh, let's say uh, you can add any class name i'm just putting here mm, 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 mm. auth toggle link right so i'm adding that style inside the component dot css file and let me add here color will be blue violet 
font size could be 14 pixel margin top 20 pixel and last one is text align left all right so let me add this uh, link on the so you can see that okay this class is already added right so now you can see that if i'm just clicking on that link uh, this is not working okay let me check why this is not working yeah because by default uh, login is already there oops my bad actually i just have to call uh, this open function as a function not as a property so if i'm just clicking on there now you can see that we are able to access the login form but there is a no a link to go back on the sign up functionality so i'm just copying it and pasting in just below to the login and just saying that don't have account click to sign up or something right okay so uh, now the next thing is we have to just close uh, mm, this anchor tag also which is that is not properly closed all right so uh, but here we have to just open the sign up so i am just making another function open sign up and uh, it should be let's like, say open sign up that is better and uh, now let's create another function we don't need this ts file so i'm cl closing it for a moment and uh, let me just make this uh, sign up function and we can just say that this dot show login is false and now i think both uh, will be properly uh, toggle like say if i'm just clicking on there we can see the login form if i'm just clicking on the uh, that link this is showing the seller sign up so both are working fine great that is uh, okay so now the next thing is we don't need this uh, uh, three fields in the seller login so we don't need this name actually we need only email and uh, password so i am just copying this field about to that password and we have to change some id let's say seller login form and here we can pass this value and let me change the login uh, function also on submit so i am just uh, making a duplicate copy of signing up and let me just click on the login we don't need to call this api for a moment so i am just you can see that uh, removing that that one and uh, now if i am just going on a login and if i am just entering some values let's say anil at the rate test and some password one two three i'm just clicking over it over there you can see that we are just getting this form value inside the ts file so that is working fine so one thing that i just want to change now that is last so in a login form still we have a class of sign uh, sign up so i'm just making a login but now a little bit ui is actually changed in case of login right so i just want to fix that one so let's again go to the css file and uh, let me just add this uh, login class also dot login and similarly dot login h1 tag right i think now everything is working fine so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please guys support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your, your feedback in comment box thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video